Hey guys, what's up? I'm Morgan. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me and for tuning in. Today's video, you guys, is all about what the topic says. It's about how I write really good product descriptions and how it could help you with your brand, whether it's a fashion brand, whether it's a fashion boutique, whether it's a swimwear brand, whether you're just selling services and you really need to know how to actually add a product description that converts. And your product description, you guys, it really is all about how you communicate with your customer, but also how your website communicates with Google, so or any search engine for that matter. So let's get right into this. I'm gonna slide myself over here because I look a hot mess. I look a hot mess, but 30 videos in 30 days is what y'all gonna get, okay? So right now we are looking at the back end of my shopify site which is on a product page and this is one of the dresses that are going to be uploaded fully within the next couple of days because i have a brand launch for september 10th if you did not know i am launching my own fashion boutique right now it's called the sweet fox label but sweet as in s-u-i-t-e fox label follow us on instagram and all that good stuff everything is linked below my website is linked below as well please get on the email list if you are into women's wear and yeah let's get back to this video so your product description you guys it basically is what it says a product description you're going to be describing every single thing about your product in a way that your customers don't need to ask you too many questions now i learned this through trial and error because i do operate mayhem swim as you guys know i am the owner behind mayhem swim so i am very familiar with how product descriptions help actually convert into sales but also i write really good product descriptions to stop customers or potential customers from having to send customer service an email asking about a product. So if everything is already laid out for them, that stops a lot of unnecessary emails and it frees up your time as a business owner. So here is the product that we're going to be talking about right now. So I'm gonna click on the product. This is just um, one of my essential tea dresses that I'm going to be launching. You can see it has a deep plunging uh, neckline or a deep V neckline. Um, you can tie it on the side in a knot or you can wear it just flat out as a regular everyday dress to make it a little bit more casual or a little bit more relaxed. So this is what we're gonna be describing right here. So just by looking at this, you're just thinking probably it's a black dress. But in reality, let me click off of here. A lot more goes into your product okay so going back up here before i explain exactly what's in this description box i just want to let you guys know if you are using shopify i hope you're using shopify it's a great platform but if you're on shopify it should look very similar to this or it should look exactly like this actually <laughs> and when you see your product description when you scroll down this part right here where it says uh search engine listing preview this is the seo so everything that you write in the description box is in your SEO description. So you want to make sure that you actually are giving details about the product so that when people search it, certain keywords are going to pop up either about your actual product or Google is going to have Google, Pinterest, they're going to have much more to actually target the person that's looking for your dress based off of how you describe it. So you can edit this SEO right here. Like if you don't want to leave it exactly like this, because up here you can see just details and bullet points and things like that, but you can edit this you know, all of this up to 320 characters if you want. Um, but again, this is the SEO. This is your handle, the link that goes to your address. You wanna make sure that all your links are very specific. You don't want redirections and things like that. I'm gonna talk about redirected URLs in another video because I feel like it's very important and I learned a really good lesson. Sorry, I, re I learned a really good lesson about that um, by trial and error again with Mayhem Swim. And I think it's important for you guys to learn. So just keep that in mind. We'll talk about that sometime this month. Probably probably tomorrow, I don't know. But here's the product description, okay? So first of all, you wanna do the basic things that automatically stand out with your product. And like I said, mine is a black tea dress with a deep plunging neckline. So I put the color automatically, okay, black. <laughs> And I put product details and then under the product details, I have bullet points. You don't have to structure it like this. You just want to make sure everything's added so that your customers know. So one of the things that you want to recommend all the time or not recommend, one of the things that you want to highlight is the fabric of your product. And the reason being is you don't want somebody ordering your dress that's made out of spandex and they might be allergic to spandex or poly blends or they might be allergic to certain type of cottons you know cotton blends so you want to just make sure it's on there because then people have a better understanding not only of 
what it's made out of but how well it's going to interact with their skin so i have mine it's a rayon and spandex fabric i put it's a deep plunge neckline because it is i put a short short sleeves because it's short sleeves and i put it can be worn with or without being knotted at the hem like i showed you guys when i picked when i put the picture up so you want to make sure the product details are actually the product details like what's on the actual product if this had a pocket i would put it has a pocket on the right the right um on the right breast uh, side. I would put, you know, if it had a raw edge hem, I would put it has a raw edge hem. Same thing for denim. You wanna count the pockets on the denim. Some denims are four pockets, some are five pocket. You wanna put that they're high waist. You wanna put that they're distressed. You wanna put that they're frayed. Anything that's an actual detail, you should put under the product details. Now, the next thing that I want to recommend, which is super easy to do if you have a model that you are working with or if you are the model yourself. For me, I'm typically the model myself. My next collection will have models. This is just the launch. But for now, for the size and fit, you want to input that, okay? Size and fit is all about your model. And this is really good because this part alone has helped me convert a lot of sales because, because I am the face of my brands and because I'm the one wearing the swimsuits and things like that in the pictures, a lot of people ask me my measurements and they ask me, you know, what size am I wearing? So it's really easy to just put that in the product description because it allows people to have some sort of a visual input on what body type is wearing what size so for me in my swimsuits i put i'm a size um medium this style some styles i'm a size large i'll put my measurements basically my bust waist and hip measurements so people can have an accurate description of you know my body type and i put that i'm five foot eight inches five foot eight and a half inches tall i put that again you see the size that i'm wearing the measurements those are things that you want to put as far as size and fit according to size and fit even outside of your actual body measurements or the model's measurements and things like that you can also put that it is a relaxed fit you can put that it it's very comfortable it's a soft it's soft it moves with your body that's how you describe size and fit when it comes to your product and i noticed that this part even more so than the product details is what actually helps me convert my products into sales because people look at me and be like, well, what size are you, you know? So that actually helps because I have a visual reference of the actual picture with the garment on and it helps. Um, underneath that, or adding to your product description, another thing that helps convert is care instructions. Now, when it comes to care instructions, be very direct and very straightforward, okay? Because I have worn all of my things, I know exactly how to handle it with care. Therefore, I can actually write the product descriptions. Same with all of my clothing. Oh, you can't see the clothing, right? I thought it was in camera, but um, same with this boutique. I have tried on every single thing. I have washed every single thing. So I know exactly how all of these things are going to be with different types of um, care instructions. Um, a lot of things are basic, but again, a lot of people don't know the basics. So it's really important to add care instructions. For me, I added that for this particular shirt dress, I put it, I prefer that you wash it, um, hand wash it, or wash it on the cold machine setting that's preferred. Um, I also put hang drying and air drying is better, obviously, than a uh, um, actual dryer because it's gonna be super high heat. And things like rayon and spandex blends, if you know anything about fabrics, it's gonna shrink the product just a little bit if you don't actually have the proper heat settings. Because I can, you can dry it in heat but you have to have the proper heat settings. Like don't don't be drying stuff on high heat that don't need to be on high heat, you know? So that's how you write your care instructions. Um, and then another thing that helps because you don't want people having to click a bunch of different things or search on your website and get frustrated. I like to link my size chart, my return and exchange policy, and I like to link reviews. Because this is a new brand, I don't have reviews yet. So this is actually, oops, oh sorry, this one it's actually unnecessary to be there. So these will be links. All you do to make a link on your Shopify is you highlight it just like that. You highlight it and then you click on the insert link button and then you can insert the link. You can have them open in the same window or a new window and then you put the title. This is for SEO purposes. So again, anything that says SEO purposes, you guys, write in what you need so for this for seo purposes because which link was that oh returns and exchanges i would just put returns and exchange oops policy dash dash sweet box label so i would insert that just like that and then that's what will pop up on 
you know, the SEO side, which is the search engine optimization. Now, another thing that the last thing I want to talk about as far as product descriptions, which is probably one of the most important steps that you do not, you do not want to skip this step. Okay. When you're uploading your product photos, the product photography, no matter what it is, it could be a flat lay. It could be you and the items. It could be a model and the items. However you are displaying it, you want to click on the picture. Okay. And this is for every single picture. Okay. Let me slide myself down. You want to add the alt text. Okay. This button right here, add that. Okay. This is somewhere else that feeds the search engine. Okay. So in this where it says save alt text, what you'd be writing is the name of the T. Oops. I believe this is. Something simple, just like that, okay? You literally put the name of the item and then you put dash, the name of your brand, or you don't have to put the name of your brand, you can just leave it like that. And I'm just gonna click save, right? Cause it's saved and that's that. And then I'm going to exit out, just like that. That is on the back end of your picture. So every time somebody search in the name of your dress, it should pop up on the search engines because you have fed it, you fed the search engine another piece of information. So the alt text is information. The description box is information. Your title is the full, just gist of everything. Your information, I will have the name of the dress, which is the hot, it's called Highland. And then I have the actual description, which is a tea dress, okay? And then I also have black because this will also come in different colors. So I put dash black. So when I order upload, not order, when I upload another um, version of this dress, it's gonna be the same exact right here, except for the back part will probably say red or white or green, whatever color it is, okay? So that's how you update your product descriptions. Everything is right here and then you just click save. So once you click save, everything is done and that's that. So I'm gonna make myself a little bit bigger. Ew, I look gross, but <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please like this thumbs up is like please like this video Please subscribe to this video share this with somebody who might need to hear this and Let me know how it goes when you guys are uploading your products and how easy it was with this information Okay, and just let me know how well you guys are converting because again, this is 30 videos in 30 days We're uploading every day of September. I hope you guys enjoy this again. I'll see you guys on my next one. Peace Oh, 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 oh,